It's you, Spade, and we're back here again uh, with George Perry. We're going to, uh, I think we're going to be pitching this first game and then maybe DH the next game, maybe play some left field the third game. We'll see how long this episode goes. This one might run long, but the last one ran short, so we'll see what happens. Um, in case you guys are wondering, we're two games back. And we are playing the, I think we're playing the curve, so that's a huge get for us. Uh, that's the wrong button, Jackie. Let's try it, this one. Yeah, so we're playing the curve. This is a huge get for us um, because this will move us at least, like, if we can win this series, this moves us into a tie for a second. And no clue what's going to ha happen with the first place team. We're in control of our destiny. If we win all three, then we're definitely in second, potentially first, depending on what happens with the other team. So, uh, thanks for that we're looking at. I am, I am slated to pitch this first game. Uh, guys, I have, I'm solid on the mound. And the guy that I'm facing is pretty solid as well. So, I got a 1.08 ERA. He's got 1.96, so that's not bad. He hasn't thrown as many innings as I, am, as I have, so let's get into this because this is going to be a long one. New Yorker. And shut up, I'm about to prove you all the way wrong. Alright, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What can we get this for learning new pitch? I think that splitter might be handy. I don't know about you guys. I think that splitter's gonna be handy. Alright. So we got the pitch stacked. Suitcase for nine. All right, so here's what we got. I'm not batting today. I hate that. I want to play for national team because I think that would fit me perfectly. But I'm going to Detroit Tigers once I go up. Let's switch over to old pitch. A great matchup between two pretty good double A pitchers. The show's continuing coverage of double-A Northeast League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Erie Seawolves and the Altoona Curve. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Braxton Ashcraft gets the call for game one of the series. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, aren't they? Aren't they? Uh, like the Reds or the Pirates? There's somebody in the NL Central's team. No, I'm not too put a two seamer. I'll put a four seamer down there. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They've had it going the last ten games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. That's exactly 
exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, a good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps, line to line. This team swung the bat as well. I'm going to be looking for that again. Here's the first pitch. Let's throw this off. Because I haven't thrown the ball yet. Now let's dig this two seamer in. Let's try the new pitch. Let's try the new pitch. Defend your position, guys. Defend your position. Alright, best pitch that I got. After those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Fouled off. The 1 1 home. Taking strike two. I'm going to get him with a split ball. There it is. I will toss out one of those pitches for a uh, knuckleball for sure, though. I love throwing knucks. something going on offense to keep pace even though it's early and it's fouled away here's the purpose of the splitter i can attack this dude on the opposite side without having concerns because with this pitch there's concerns that's how you start a walk all right Let's see if the new pitch is hitting yeah new pitch is hitting i mean that's the split finger is literally a change up that has sinking action so like 12 to 6 action on it so it's a little bit faster there's not as much of that speed difference but Next thing, change that first pitch out. Yeah, I'm good. Now I'm trying to ring somebody up. That was above the knees. That was above the letters too. Shut up. See guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like pitching's like really intense. It's hard to talk through it while I'm doing it. So I'm just kind of like, like here comes a slur down and away, like the catcher calls for. Now I'm gonna go four seamer up and then I'm gonna change the level, change the speed. Now I want to take this two seamer inside on the knees. Expected. 
That sets me up with this slider uh, down and away off the plate. Alright, so he didn't bite on that, so that means I can go up, way up, on a four seamer. And if he would have missed that, then that's where the splitter comes into play. Now, see, now I'm facing somebody that I can actually have a challenge with, so I'm going to start him with that two seamer. Nothing. Bring the four seamer. That was off. All right, so that tells me I can sell my split. Well, I missed, but it worked. <sighs> Back to our slider. He's got enough on it. There you go, short. Let's start him with a slurve. I haven't thrown a lot of slurves, and that's supposed to be my top pitch, so. That's probably why. Let's do another one. Slider off the plate. It's my strikeout pitch, guys. Alright, three run lead. I'm gonna go off book and I'm gonna throw a splitter off the break. Guys, I have these guys beat, beating out of the heart out of my hands right now. I'm gonna run this two seamer in on the knees. I think he's gonna bite. Yep. You know why? Because it looks like it's going middle in. And it's not. Velo pump. Velo pump. Two seamer away. Split her down. Yeah, I was trying to make him bite on everything. Uh, he wasn't biting, so I gave him see in the middle. He was late. Cool. Alright, here we go. Let's run this slider in on ease just to start. 
And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Let's change speeds and go up. Same zone. It's going up. Ball in there for a strike. One and one. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. The problem with hitting the splitter is because it sinks straight down, you can very easily hit it off the top of your bat just like that. Two seamer middle in. Swing and a liner. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Ready now is Jason Delay. He's over one. Four seamer down and in Barry. Okay. With the first pitch fastball that's one and oh. Slurve. Once again, don't throw it enough. Slurve swung on and missed there. It's one and one. Slider has a different break to it. There you go. Two five. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Sea Wolves lead it three to nothing. All right, guys. So here we go. Let's start him in the hot zone with this two seamer. Hit him with a slider down and in. If he's coming for that bunt, easy out. Slider. Get on the ground out to short. Field it cleanly. Safe. First and a good stretch over there is going to get him by oh. a step for the second out. Okay. Let's throw this slip in here. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. He just gets foul. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. I'm just going to feed him off speed for a little bit. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed still. Uh, we'll leave it right there as yeah. he strikes out and yeah. ends the inning. So they breeze through this half down. of the inning. Seventh inning coming up. The Sea Wolves are out on top, three to nothing. Once again, once again, a two seamer down or no way. If he makes good contact, it's a ground ball. Oh. Once again, two seamer down and away. Alright, if he wants to blunt, we can go up and in with the fastball, try to force the pop up. No, that didn't work. All right, split her way down. He's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are one two, one and two, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And now, Kai Tom. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and all. He's working on a one for two game so far. My slider has not been working today. So pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close. Of my five pitches. Slider's the only one that's really not working. He's safe. Throw, not in By a mile. He's able to leg it out. The and now he's out. And they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. He's out. 
No, well, guys, good game. Let's make sure we hold on to this lead. Yep. Alright, so I think we got one more game left in us. Yeah, I got a DH game ahead of me. Guys. Uh, runners on first and second. I'm doing probably neither one of these, honestly. I take normal swings most of the time. But if I'm up early, I'll take that chance. Alright, round is on second and third. Nice little curry. Super slow. So Maddox type speed. Like young Maddox type speed. Come on, guys. There we go. Nice contact. Four run game. Ready to begin the eighth and striding forward the designated hitter, George Perry. Hey, this is where you go up there and you just focus on doing your job. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know you're down a lot. Guys, I will take this over. Tonight's game comes to an end. Five to one, the final score. The curve jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Hi, right, guys. Well, let's see we're standing in the Shannings because uh, these guys just really beat us up. Um, I don't know if, if it was just the fact that they were able to get so many people on base. It hurt our standing. So, yeah, see. We're three games back now. Um, it's a good team. We're better. We just need to be better. Uh, let's check the all-star votings while we're here. Still number one by almost double the votes from number two, so that's good. Um, guys, if you have any uh, anything you guys want to say, like, subscribe, comment. Um, let us know what you guys want to see and we'll do it uh, don't be strangers and spade out